Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about the question whether or not fans are really going to be into Modern Warfare 4. This guy kind of brought it up, he got really popular on Twitter, so this is what I don't understand. Everyone wants old school Call of Duty, no specialist, blah blah blah, slow vanilla. Uh, I guess what, no one is playing it? He doesn't know how to spell. Uh, so what makes you think it's going to retain any players when Infinity War drops in W4? And he's obviously pointing out... COD 4's number of players, uh, COD 4 Remastered, sorry, but Modern Warfare Remastered, I've been playing it, it, it has about as much reception with lobbies as Infinite Warfare does, it's just because, you know, it's like, what, a three-year-old game now? And, like, obviously, this is a younger kid, um, who probably got into Call of Duty late, like, Advanced Warfare, um, but either way, I still decided to drop some knowledge, so I replied and said, uh, maybe because the highest grossing COD was Modern Warfare 3, which had no specialists, maybe because uh, COD's been dying hardcore since Advanced Warfare, just maybe, and I, I put the stats up there of the uh, success of the previous Call of Duties, but there were other uh, replies, um, and then he replied to him and said, it's all lies, it's old head COD pro players, Joyce, uh, just, he put juice, can't spell, uh, hyping new COD pro players. Convincing them they were never good enough back in the day, which in turn creates this false hype to developers who think that's what the majority wants. It's terrible. Now, he obviously thinks the majority is represented by, like, the people on Twitter or whoever. Um, the, the majority of people tweeting about Call of Duty um, or, like, complaining or whatnot are, like, younger crowd. Again, people who got in late. They probably played Advanced Warfare and so on. Um, but... The majority of COD players total are actually older, and they don't really tweet about it, so it is what it is. Um, and then somebody said this fan base honestly doesn't know what it wants. And then he replied, um, the majority that's not on social media wants a Black Ops 3 type game. Otherwise, why is Apex so popular? It's so stupid. Uh, why can't Treyarch Activision see that? And, I mean, Treyarch isn't making the next Call of Duty, but <clears throat> whatever. Um... And then this person replied, I don't want Black Ops 3. I hated that game. I'd rather have a modern game. So they kind of like contradict themselves. And the person at the bottom says it's the nostalgia factor too. People will play Modern Warfare because it says Modern Warfare. And that's kind of true. Uh, I think nostalgia is a hardcore factor in this. But it doesn't mean that it's a wrong opinion. And he's saying that Apex and, you know, whatever is, is showing that fans still want like uh, futuristic style games but if that's true what about the success of rainbow six siege what about the hype and build up and support for division two uh, he conveniently leaves those out so then i replied to say fans that are tired of the future are wrong or they don't actually know what they want it's pretty ridiculous considering out of the past three games call of duty world war ii was most successful and even the most popular boost jump game black ops 3 didn't do so well, um, or didn't do as well as Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, or even Ghost. And again, I put the stats up. You can see, like, since Modern Warfare 3, it's been dying. Those games did not do as good as the games leading up to Modern Warfare 3 and around Modern Warfare 3. Um, so if you agree with this, uh, comment below. If you disagree, comment below. I want to keep the conversation going. I'm really curious about the overall opinion of COD fans as a whole. Um, also, I want to point out, on Twitter, Dave, uh, you've seen him in my previous videos, I've talked about him on Twitter, um, he sent a message to Joel Emsley, and Joel Emsley replied, talking about the game, as the project gets closer to alpha, it becomes increasingly difficult to scope all the systems, assets, and features so everyone can begin the process of balancing and polishing. Um, hardest part of development has to do with uh, paying close attention to dependencies. The most important thing I got out of that was that they're about to come up on alpha, which means they're in pre-alpha right now. Um, if you know anything about um, pre-alpha to alpha and what goes on around that time, um, they usually develop the trailer around pre-alpha when it gets close to alpha. So... That makes me stand by what I said in my previous video, even more so, that we are going to get a trailer within the next two and a half weeks. Some type of reveal. Um, not just some hint. Um, something else I saw was that uh, Taylor 
like some stuff from Dave. Uh, these images right here, one is, it looks a lot like uh, Frost. Obviously it's not. It's got a British patch on there. But um, the other image below, th these are all very Modern Warfare-esque photos. And that's all Dave tweets at Joel Emsley and, and Taylor. And they, they like them all. They... They get tweeted photos and images from a lot of different people, but these are the ones that they've been liking consistently of modern soldiers. So it's still happening, still going on. I still believe the reveal is coming soon. And again, I want to see your comments and reactions to the conversation I had and that whole debate and what your mindset is about it. So thanks for watching and keep the conversation going. I'll catch you guys next time.